it's, it's really a sad time. It's, just, it's also a time to celebrate uh, uh, all that Pat's been through. Uh, I am so grateful. Uh, I have two daughters that uh, were Lady Balls. And uh, I, I really don't think, and, and, and you can think of on thousands and maybe millions of young women that had opportunities because Pat had the courage to take on, and the personality, to take on the, the responsibility of being the ladies coach, and then the personality to affect us across the country, not just from a sports standpoint, but from, a, I think, a culture standpoint. And, you know, when you're talking about the 80s and the 90s, when, when things were really, really changing. And she gave lots of young ladies opportunities. And the other thing, I, I'm pretty sure of this, uh, we should have our time to, to, to mourn, uh, which everybody is. We should have our time to celebrate, which will come uh, soon enough. And um, I know what Pat would say. Hey, let's, let's go do something about this. And uh, my mom has Alzheimer's, been involved with Alzheimer's for some period of time and trying to support the research and those kind of things. And she would say, hey, uh, let's, uh, enough of this. Let's, let's, let's get the funding and let's go uh, defeat this disease. And um, I was blessed to have a chance to see her, you know, quite often and just recently, uh, about three or four days ago. And, and I promise you, uh, that's not the way she would want to be remembered. What we're doing here today and celebrating is how she would want to be remembered and then going forward and doing something about Alzheimer's.